In the previous part of the tutorial, we said that we will deal with manage your car. But in order to make things in order, we need to manage brand before manage a car. So for make this, we will go to we need to go to our header include and add this link to the navbar. So let's go button and see where we have the cars and duplicate the link. And here is not card, you will call here this brand. And here it will call the file the file brand.php. And now we close the include. And in the admin, we create the brand file. So let's create brand.php and take all of the content of the card. Let me take all the content of the card and pass it in the print. So now it will come back to the website and we refresh. We have the brand, the brand appear. And if we click on brands now, we are on the brands page. So we need just to make some clear effect. So let me close all of this. We don't need them. Let me check if. I continue to record. Okay. Okay. Now we are on the on the brand tab. The first thing to do is to change the title. Here is not gas. Is brand. And now is not open car model. Is open brand model. And. Let's say that the title is add new brand. Okay. And the thing that we want, we want if sorry, if we click on the add new brand, we want to open the purple by default. The purple will not work because we we've changed the class. And we need to go to bottom. And after initializing query, we need to call now we click when we click on the button on the element with this class open brand model we want to open this model and now it's not car model it's brand model and let's copy this and go to the model and then replace the name of the model replace the id of the model here and add brand model now if you come back and you refresh and you click on add new branch you will get this model appear good so now let's come back here and remove this title let's give some id and is model title for this id and we will display this id this this title when we open the proper so now let's say is that let's say the text of the model will be add new brand for cars now after this we need to we need to have some form to fill to send the data to a database so now let's go back here where we have a model body and before the model body open a form and remove the action we don't need it we make the validation using ajax and close the form after the model footer now in the model body open a row because we use both wrap and make one call for and inside this call for you call a label and you say the label name is brand name and after call call and now is eight and let's say we have some input with the class name of form control let's test this and for this input let's give it the id of brand name and bottom and the footer 
for the first button let's say that the tip is not button the tip is submit and is not save change is save let's say is save brand and now let's save this and refresh now when we click on add new brand we fall on this form and if we click save brand we have this refresh accept so we want now to start with the form validation so for start with the form validation you need to give some id to the form so for this form i say that this id will be brand form okay so now let's go bottom and where we when where we start with jQuery because here is for open the border let me add some comment is now the next is to let's see that manage the form the first we will use the document and we will use the on we list on the, on the submit event and we need to list and when we submit this form event and here we have the event and by default we want to prevent default the page to avoid reloading by processing like this we prevent default if, if we come and we'll refresh one more time and now we open the pop-up and we click on save range you will see nothing nothing will appear because we prevent the default okay now for continue this let's say we can define some value some variable because we have the brand name and it will be equal to do let's say it will be equal to we have if brand name and the value because we are one element with the id of brand name if you remember let's go to talk to show you Uh, inside the model let's see for the for this for the input the id is brand name so it's the brand name that we declare bottom here and now is a variable and let's say that if brand name is not empty We will, if the brand name is not empty we want to check as we will leave it so if the brand name is different than empty the thing that we want we want to submit the data so we will call the ajax method and the ajax method takes some parameter the first one is a url the second is a method and in our case is post is post the next is the data let's say that in our case it will be new form data the next will be the content type let's say that in our case it will be false because we we don't have a content type and the process data will be false too we don't need it and after this if the form successfully we have a six that we need to call and is a function let's say that is a function we take some data as parameter and put on here we get the data so this is the basic structure to our ajax to submit the form so now we need to check we need to think about how we can organize our code because we, we, we will we will call many ajax developers so the things that we are going to do is to create a new folder the admin folder that we will call ajax request or you will call it ajax or ajax request in my case i will call it ajax request let's say the ajax request and inside this ajax request i will create a new file that i will call brand let's say m brand for manage brands and now in our form for the url we will say that we will want to target the ajax request directory and the file is m brand 
php and now let's go to embrace php and add something we used to open php bracket and close php bracket and let's say that you want echo this is ajax now let's come back on the browser and let's open the console and now let's refresh this one and click on add let's click on add new brand and add something and click on save we need to get something let me go to content let's say that when we have success we want to console we want to log with data and if you manage brand screen script let's say that you don't you want you don't want to echo you want just to make some echo some json encode and json encode visits ajax okay now let's try this one again let's click save and now we get the result in the console Sorry. good how is the, our project we start so now we send the data to the back end if we call this the back end we call this the back end And now we have this is Ajax in the console, so we can continue. The next thing to do is to insert in this data in the database. But before insert, let's go to the model and add some. Let's say that we call some input for make the difference between if we are in edit mode or in store mode. So let's create an input and give it the ident type. For the name, let's give it the name of operation and give it the id of operation 